What's up, guys? Um, this is the last part of my Sonic One video. So, um, I hope the internet doesn't crash on me this time. Because I swear it's done it like seven times, and every time I try to do it, every time I try to upload the video, it's just, it just doesn't want to work. It sucks. But, uh, Last time I was playing this game, guys, I was going to tell you about how I um, hit the bank on World Casino, how I broke the bank. Well, apparently you didn't get to hear me do that because for some reason I fucked around with your audio and it didn't come out nearly the way I wanted it to. So there you go. I mean, just a complete fuck up on my part. And one. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through Scrap Brain and this level right here is Starlight. So, I mean, Starlight is a fairly easy level. Doesn't have any bosses, but those unkillable zombies, those unkillable enemies, I mean, they just don't. They don't come very easy. You know what I mean? Like that there. And those golden spikes that they have, I tell you, they make them really tough. Sound the bitch. Doesn't have a figure. I'll pick it up soon. I'll the way to guys in case you're wondering. I've also quieted down my voice. So I won't be able to commentate as good. So just uh, keep that in mind. Because of the way I did this channel last time, I wasn't able to come head at all. Which really sucks, because the result didn't really come out the way I wanted to. But anyway, this wall is fairly straightforward. Fairly easy. All you gotta do is, like, I mean, it's pretty simple. I gotta do this again five times, I mean eight times. Five times, I get five. I'll take you guys about that time where I, where I broke the bank on World Casino. See, I was like eight or nine years old, and I've been practicing that game for months just playing it. But every time I've been on playing the blackjack table, I ended up losing a bet. But on one particular night, something amazing happened. Um, 
want to put all my money on it, that's what I turn on the news we do. They don't want to do it. I'm going to put all my money on the other man and I want that man. And the process repaired itself like 15 times or so. And what actually happened was I ended up breaking the bank I got to over a million dollars. Which is crazy. Because that's, you beat the whole game. Once you've gotten over a billion dollars. And, you know, it's just... But anyway, um... Anyway, um, that night, you know, I just, I, I was so shocked and so happy to have actually done such a thing by breaking the bank and getting over a billion dollars because I was using my mom's account at the time. And my dad could overhear me and my cries of joy, and he told me, he told me what was going on. I told him I broke the bank. I got to over a billion dollars and I broke the bank. And, and then my mom showed up and she saw that the account had been reduced back to 5000 because that was the default. You know, on there. Right? So, I mean, my mom was understandably upset. Took a thousand dollars, but my dad explained to her, and he was like, he was like, Mom, you, know, you gotta understand, this boy got you to over a billion dollars, and she was stuck, she couldn't believe it. And then that, and then that night, we just finally came to the consensus that. Uh, we uh, that we take me all the way to Las Vegas when I was 21 to play blackjack because I've done something really, really great. Because it was so, it was so awesome. I can't even describe it to you that moment. You know. But then there was this one time when I was. Just picking up sticks and all the little woods, right? And and I uh, funny thing that happened was this guy was just I was going sticks in the yard, right? And the thing that ended up happening was I ended up missing the woods and I broke one of my windows. So you can imagine how my mom and dad reacted to that. My dad is dead now, unfortunately. He's been dead for like for almost ten years now, but my mom just couldn't believe it. And I knew that I did not I knew it without a shadow of a doubt. And my dad came in and he was he was teetotally pissed. And he asked me, Why did you do it, son? And I couldn't tell. And he tore my ass out of his brain. Of course, what happened was eventually the 
what I always prefer to use the fast. So, okay, this is where we decide last zone. Here we go. You know, the last zone basically, you gotta get in and avoid one of those. Uh, those things that try to brush you, and then you're going to avoid those sliding and plasma bolts. You better try and move them forward. You got to get that many times, too. I forgot to mention. There's a lot of things I forget to mention. As long as you can avoid those plasma beams, you get that many times, you'll be holding. No question about it. So you can see how I'm, I'm halfway there right now. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned, please. The next 50 seconds is going to be a real shock. Hold on tight. Just like that, the game is complete. Um, before I go, guys, I want to go ahead and uh, let you know that I have some real big news on Game the Bronze and Confessions of the Sociopath. So, um, Beat the Bones is still in the works. Um, I'm two chapters into the final part of it. And this double trilogy is I call it when I see the short stories. And then, of course, the Princess of the Sociopath, the more well known one comic that I'm working on a lot, that I'm going there. Um, and then, it's going to have a second chapter, and I'm working on it now as we speak. So, actually, technically, I'm not working on it now as we speak as a blank day. But, anyway, um, that's really all I got to say about that. So, Anyway, enjoy the last minute of this video because uh, that's a minute of your life that you're never going to get back. Just saying. Okay guys, um, next time you see me, I'll be covering another path of the song. So, uh, with that said, enjoy this last scene picture of Eggman's up in the end time. See ya.